President Xi Jinping is walking with the foreign guests along the red carpet through the West Passage, and then they will go up to the top of Tiananmen Rostrum. Uh, they're walking the steps uh, up to Tiananmen Rostrum, uh, where Chairman Mao uh, declared the establishment of the People's Republic in 1949. Uh, this is exactly the route Chairman Mao took. And this day, Chinese President Xi Jinping, together with other leaders, joined together to mark uh, the 70th anniversary of the Second World War. The leaders agree that fascism is the common enemy of whole, all humanity, and the anti-fascist war is the common cause of all people in the world. The war, which ended 70 years ago, was unprecedented in human history. It involved about 2 billion people in more than 80 nations across Asia, Europe, Africa, and Oceania. China's war of resistance against Japanese aggression was an important part of the world anti-fascist war. It was the first to break out, lasted the longest, and paid the highest prices. China was a major allied country and also the major east battleground. China's military and civilian casualties reached 35 million. The fight on this front locked up the main strength of the Japanese land forces, greatly distracting Japan from the Pacific theater. And today, China will honor the veterans who fought hard in the war, veterans from the Communist Party, as well as the Kuomintang. 